ultimately it appears aggressive prostate cancer is driven by five key processes. First, genomic instability. Tumors that have more mutations are more likely to kill somebody. Second, tumor hypoxia. The level of oxygen in a tumor, the less oxygen, the more aggressive the tumor is. The more oxygen, the more it's like a normal tissue, the less likely a tumor is to kill somebody. Third, the presence of an aggressive subhistology called intraductal carcinoma, cribriform architecture. And fourth, whether or not the tumor is visible under a standard multiparametric MRI. And then lastly, an estimate of the tumor's evolution, how clonal it is, how complex, and how branched that tumor's evolutionary history are. You put those five things together and you get a very accurate prediction of which cancers are likely to kill and which ones are not.